We start this month by going on a journey to Greytown with Celsi Sharks prop Kuta Ngunu. To get Kuta there safe and sound, SMG Durban provided him with some wheels of sheer driving pleasure. Kuta was en route to visit his former school, Greytown High School, where his rugby talents were first noticed and nurtured before he completed his senior high school years at Glenwood in Durban. But it's a great honor for us um, that he will come back to Greytown. You know, after he left us here, um, you know, as a as a young student, and, and you know, we've been following his his, his career um, so far, and then we're very proud of him. You know, the fact that he um, came back to Greytown just to come and acknowledge us is a big honor and a privilege to have him here and, and the group here today. He was joined by his older brother Tanda, himself a former head boy of the school. First stop was the principal's office. Kuta wanted to pay his respects to Greytown High and the teachers who fueled his passion for the game. You know, when, we, when we have someone with a, with a learner like um, Kuta to come and just give feedback to the children, because the, the main reason why we're here is about children, and therefore we would like him to give some motivation back to the learners. So therefore we're going to assemble an all with all the learners, the boys and girls, you know, because whatever he's going to say, he can inspire all the learners. And after that, we're going to have um, the first team get together and we're uh, going to show the, the learners um, so, some, some skills. And then um, maybe you can inspire the first team to go up and get higher um, achievements that they really have. The visit continued along familiar school corridors to the school hall for assembly where Kuta was welcomed as the special guest and his achievements off the field were also highlighted. Afrikaans 69%. Zulu 64%, Maths 82%, Life Rotation 84%, History 94%, Physical Science 82%, and Life Sciences 79%, almost another 80%. Give a big round of applause. A lot of you guys are sitting down there today and thinking to yourselves, how did I get here? And, um, I've got, I've got a very simple rule that I, that, I, that I try and live by in my life. Apply yourself in such a way that you can be able to look yourself in the mirror at the end of the night each day. And I guarantee you, you will go somewhere in life. Um, you know, a lot of you guys sitting here come from tough backgrounds, and myself, I also come from a tough background, and um, I can remember when I was young, we used to move around a lot, because um, my mom was a single parent, and. Um, struggling to pay the bills and, and the school fees as well, so we ended up moving a lot and, and I guarantee you guys, you guys sitting down here, you have the potential within you to reach far beyond these walls, far beyond this town and become someone who can be recognized in the world. It doesn't have to be in sports, it doesn't have to be in the field that I'm in. Whatever your dream is, just believe that it is possible. Make sure that when you go home, that you can be able to look yourself in the mirror and be proud of the efforts that you put in every day and understand that the world doesn't end here in Greytown. You can go far beyond into the world and achieve your wildest dreams. This former Greytown warrior is certainly an inspiration to all at the school and to all youngsters with big dreams from smaller towns around the province. And I think with Kuta, he, he decided at a young age that he wanted to pursue a rugby career. Um, I remember at times where we used to gym on a Sunday. We, we woke up, acted as if we were going to church, but we never went to church. We just went on and gymmed and gymmed and gymmed. And it was his, it was his dream. And um, he was a guy who was always full of energy. And so he, why not put the energy on field? And um, it's absolutely great to see him um, at this level playing for Super Rugby, I mean, um, it's, you can't get any bigger than that, it's a club rugby and for, for him it's a, it's a dream come true. Kuta has become a local favourite this side and you know everyone is really happy to see him and especially the boys as well, you know, they've taken a lot of um, uh, messages from him and um, just seeing someone who, who they, idol, they now idolise but they grew up with has been something very heartwarming for the boys to see. The message for me was very simple. Um, the idea that if you apply yourself, you can become something in life, irregardless of where you come from, um, who you are, and um, the background that you come from. If you apply yourself and really believe 
that you can achieve something, you can do it. It's within your own hands. And for you guys, I, I guarantee you guys, this field can mean so much to you if you just take the pride in your badge, take the pride in your fellow men, and take pride of where you come from. This is a proud school. You look in the history of how many of how many games we actually win each year. It's incredible with the number that we have. Um, for me, it means too much. It's an honor for me to see someone like him coming from this small town in Great Town. So it, to me, it, it means a lot that one day I can maybe be like him, which is what I want to become like one day. And yeah, I'm sure for the boys, it meant a lot to them too, because some of them always talk about him whenever they see him in TV. And last week he was playing against Blue Bulls, so yeah, it means a lot to us. No, look, um, for me, a huge, massive honor to come back here. You know, it's a place where I have so many fond memories and this is, this is the grassroots for me. This is where I come from. This is my development. This is my story. And um, to come back here means an, an extreme lot to me and obviously the people of the town more, more than me actually, you know, because there's not a lot of guys who come out of here and, and make it into professional rugby. And um, to be a symbol of hope, to be someone they can, that they can possibly look up to, I mean, that's a huge honor for me. And to give back to them, that's, that's going to be my, my biggest mission in my career as well. And of course, a big thank you to SMG for their support in getting Kuta to make this special journey. Amor, amor, amor.